cartilaginous joints are joints that are made up, two bones connecting via cartilage. Two different types of cartilage can exist in joints. Um, one is going to be fibrocartilage. I'm going to draw these over here. You remember fibrocartilage is a little stronger and stiffer. It has more fibers, uh, more collagen fibers um, than hyaline cartilage. So hyaline cartilage is the other type. Um, and then these two categories are associated with the two broad names. So when it's fibrocartilage, it's called a symphysis. such as the puic symphysis. And when it's hyaline cartilage, it's called a synchondrosis. Synchondrosis. So synchondroses um, include the hyaline cartilage plate of long bones. So this epiphyseal plate, um, is hyaline cartilage, so it's a joint. So it's a synchondrosis. Oh, did not spell that right. Chondrosis, left out a few letters there. It's uniting that epiphysis to the diaphysis. And you know how that's actually growing tissue that allows long bones to lengthen until growth stops after adolescence. When that plate is done growing, it becomes the epiphyseal line. So in adults, um, at that point, it is no longer hyaline cartilage. It becomes ossified and um, and so it's it's no longer a synchondrosis, but it still is classified as a synchondrosis. It is a temporary synchondrosis. So that's one type that is temporary. Another example of a temporary synchondrosis is actually there are a few different bones in this in this pelvis here, um, the, ili the iliac bone, and for example, is, is right here. Those fuse with the bones next to them um, in development. And at that point, some people use a different name for the bone joint. We have enough words. We don't need to, to worry about that. We're going to call these temporary synchondroses that are temporary. Um, so you could think of it, epiphyseal plate is a synchondrosis. However, adults don't have epiphyseal plate. Right? Um, there are other synchondroses that are permanent. So one of these is the um, costal cartilage. So that is right here. This is a permanent synchondrosis the cartilage that connects your ribs to your sternum. Okay, anything else I wanna say about these synchondroses? Yes, they are, make sure about this, they are synarthroses, right? You don't want your epiphyseal plates to move or your costal cartilage. So synarthroses. And so that's in contrast to a symphysis. These are actually ampiarthroses. So they have some movement to them that, that they allow. So these include the pubis symphysis, um, as well as the intervertebral discs. Uh, 
Twitter when I go to go like there in between each disc. Um, another one actually is so right here that sterno um, man, right? the mano stoop um, sternal joint, manubrosternal joint right here um, is also a symphysis. And it's based, that name is based on the fact that it has a lot more collagen fibers. That's what makes it a symphysis instead of a synchondrosis. So in this case, um, these are these two different structural categories divide into the two functional categories as well.